this is Chicho. Now, if you've been following my comic book videos, uh, you'll know that um, I've started reading the new Valiance, the new relaunch of Valiance. Uh, there was a comic book, uh, a few lots that I bought off of eBay and I've been meaning to read them. I sort of started off with the new Valiant relaunch with um, with Rye and I really loved it. I loved what they did. I loved the artwork and um, I found it to be um, uh, sort of uh, uh, authentic, uh, true to the original uh, Valiant, true to the original Rye. So uh, what I've been doing is, uh, since I started reading Rye, I've sort of uh, started picking up random Valiants and then I saw a big, you know, bunch of lots on eBay and I made a video of uh, buying those lots and I have gone through and read at least half of those anyway. I read all the Harbingers and uh, most of the Bloodshot and the Harbinger Wars and uh, some of the Quantum Woody. Well, I read the Quantum Woody, the lot that I bought, the four issues that I bought. It was awesome. And uh, since starting to read Valiance, uh, I found that I've basically dropping every, most of the books I was collecting on a weekly basis, my pull list. And I'm sort of almost exclusively going Valiant. Um, about 80, 80, 85, 90% of my buys um, are basically Valiants now, except for, I think I'm just picking up four other uh, titles. I'm picking up all the Valiant books that are being put out and four other titles, um, one being Lobo because I like Lobo. I don't know, it's just something that I like reading and it's sort of my uh, guilty pleasure, I guess. And uh, about uh, three other titles, three or four other titles that I have, okay? so since uh, going exclusively valiant almost exclusively valiant because uh, they're uh, wow they're absolutely amazing stories amazing characters and they're building a magnificent universe and um if you remember when i did, when i bought the comic lock and the comic comic lots that i bought and i made the videos and i shared them with you at that time i mentioned uh, that if valiant had you know comes out and announces that they're gonna do a movie deal uh, expect the price of these comic books to start increasing and people start paying attention to Valiant and since that time that's exactly what's happened Valiant has come out and announced that there are five movies in in, uh, in the works which is wow it blew everyone away and um, if you remember the lots that I bought off eBay I bought a lot of the new Valiants, the relaunch, and I bought some older Valiants, which if you consider uh, the price I was getting them for, which was insane, it was a little bit over a dollar, like I bought, uh, you know, you, you can take a look at that video, but I bought, you know, XO number one, two, Solar number two, three, and a whole bunch of other stuff uh, for $20 and a lot, like there was, I don't know how many comic books were in with there uh, in, in that lot, right? Uh, just to give you a price idea, uh, Solar number three right now it's selling for you know thirty plus dollars, and that's for the older Valiants, right? For the newer Valiants, uh, they're selling out. They're extremely hard to find now. They're they're becoming scarce. Like Divinity number one sold out off the top. Uh, Drop that number one sold out right off the bat um, on eBay online. Divinity number one is going anywhere between 20 or higher, right? 15, 20 or higher, right? And um, you know, I've sort of been uh, getting all the value, so I have all those issues. And I've been trying to go back and fill up uh, whatever I'm missing because I was missing like three years worth of stuff. So I've been going back and trying to fill film my runs right so i can read them and i've so far i've you know gone through all the harbingers uh, zero to 25 and it's beautiful magnificent right um i've read you know most of the bloodshot bloodshot reborn as well wow 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 right uh the valiant uh, fantastic right very excited about the uh, um, book of death coming out uh, in the summer of 2015 in july i believe it starts off Right? So what I've been doing is checking online to try to get lots, right? And I've been going to comic shops in my area. And I live in a you know reasonable sized city, Vancouver, British Columbia. It's, it's fairly big. 
and I've had to go to you know so far I've gone to like basically six comic shops and check their back issues some of them didn't even carry any valiance the ones that did carry them they were carrying a mainly well most of them anyway were carrying it just for subscribers and there were you know two or three that were buying more than what the subscribers were requiring but no one no one has complete runs of this stuff right so i've had to go to you know all these different stores to be able to put complete runs together and i'm not you know i don't have everything yet however i did just come back from one comic shop that i hadn't gone to and i asked them i checked their back back issue i was picking up uh, ninjack number four and that's sold out as well right ninjack number four is completely sold out uh if you can get your hands on it especially with ninjack number one as well because that's the first appearance of the new character right and um number four was the origin right and it's totally sold on it's beautiful beautiful artwork i haven't had a chance to read it yet right but i went to this comic shop and um i looked in their back issue bins and i couldn't find anything they didn't have anything so i went up to the desk and i asked them if they had any back issues and the guy was walking me to the person who takes care of their back issues and he you know yelled across and the guy didn't respond and i looked over and there were packs right of uh, books that they sell and these are usually books that aren't selling and my guess is these things were sitting there a while right so i sort of looked and said oh here's here's some back issue of valiance and the price on these things was 10 valiance for five dollars okay so i looked at the lots and uh, i bought all of them almost all of them there were a couple where some of the valiance were put together with other indie books that i didn't grab uh but this is what they had right <laughs> like insane meanwhile none of the other comic book stores have these right uh so 10 valiant comics for only 4.99 yes please okay uh that's for how many um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh i bought 10 packs um and that was basically all the ones that they had uh so that's a hundred valiant books for 50 bucks 50 cents a pop okay and uh i'm pretty happy about this so i figured that i don't know what's in these they, i asked them if they they had any rhyme or reason with them and they said no we just took the valiants and put them in there i said doki doki uh i might as well grab them so i'm gonna crack these open and take a look at see what's inside and we'll go through this quickly eh? because um well, i do need to bag and board these and they look to be in really good shape so i think they just took them off the racks and put them in packs and decided to dump them right so let's pull these guys out i brought scissors uh, so i can cut the pack they're in okay now this guy had exo number 27 on the front let's take a look and they're in pretty good shape got we got exo number 27 let's just run through these right what do we got what do we got should throw it so we got exo number 27 exo number 29 exo number 30 which is very sweet I had to go to a few different places to be able to get uh, some of the early XOs. I do have, uh, I was able to pick up XO number one, uh, but I'm missing some of the ones from uh, less than 10. XO number 28. XO number zero. Right, sweet. <laughs> nice. 
Oh my god, there's Harbinger number one. <laughs> Quantum Liberty. <laughs> Check this out. Wow. Very nice. Oh, this is the dollar one. This is the reprint. I was like so excited. Uh, I do have the first issue of this, but another one would have been sweet. There's none around. You can't find it. Okay. Harbinger number three. Very nice. Very, look at that cover. Beautiful. If you haven't read Harbinger, you're in for a treat. Right. Harbinger number five. Very nice. Very nice. And this was Harbinger number 16, right? Okay, that's the first 10 pack lot. Let's put these on one side gently because they are in uh, pretty good shape. Let's see. Let's crack them with another one. <laughs> well, we have about 50 cents a pop. God, it's uh, an armor hunter's number one. Very nice. Okay, the one thing with uh, the comic book industry, it's very much proud. It's a funny industry. Cut the sucker up, right? Uh, if people aren't, if if it's not, uh, especially if you're into reading comics uh, check this out armor hunters number one archer and armstrong number nine I st i'm still missing archer and armstrong number one i don't have it and i can't find it anywhere 22 i've been looking online but um, the prices are going up for these number zero and they're getting very hard to find. Number eight, <laughs> very nice. Number seven, I used to love reading Archer Armstrong. I haven't read this uh, new uh, relaunch yet. Number six. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. We can start reading. Number four. Number two. Right? And here's the dollar reprint of number one, which is perfect. Uh, and these are in good shape, fantastic shape. Look at this. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Oh, not fantastic shape, but in really good shape, right? Very fine plus. Right? Let's put those aside. Look at this harbinger what an issue this is wow if you read uh, wow zero to 23 this one is a kicker right and 25 is beautiful they're all they're magnificent and uh man of war number 27 did we have that one already maybe yeah. and um i looked online to find out what the print on print run of these is since it was so hard to find them right and the print run on a lot of these is extremely low wow i couldn't believe it some of these the print runs on average they're anywhere between they're cutting this guy like this the print runs on, on these are anywhere between 10 to 20 thousand that's it right number ones pushing the 20 20 for exo it was more from what i could find um but uh, a lot of them you know if they're number ones they're maybe 20 25 thousand and as the numbers increase the print run drops drops some of these i looked uh you know i haven't checked out my second sources and stuff i just checked one source because i was getting frustrated i couldn't find these right uh, some of them are as low as like ten thousand sometimes less number 27 sweet what is this oh that's the other side okay let's check this out so what do we got that was xo number 27 
Harbinger number 24. Very nice. Number 23. Now I read these. These are double. Whatever. Right. 50 cents a pop. Are you kidding me? Oh, Bleeding Monk. This was a very good story. And the Bleeding Monk uh, is the first uh, uh, Syot uh, born with special powers. And and I read uh, Harbinger all the way to 25. And after that is Harbinger Omegas. And I was, I've was i been looking everywhere for this. And I had to get a comic shop to pre, um, back order it. And he's, you know, they said I could get it. Um, but I got it, right? It's okay, I'll get the other one too since I ordered it. Right, so Harbinger Omegas number one. Oh, number two is not here. Oh, yes, there is. All right, armor hunters. Okay, so we got Harbinger Armor Hunters, <laughs> number one. Armor Hunters, number two. Omegas, Harbinger Omegas, number two. And Armor Hunters, number three. Wow. <sighs> Look at this. Armor Hunters, number two. That's a mask cover. That you can actually cut out, which you're not going to do, right? And what's on the other side? Archer and Armstrong, number 12. Let's crack this open, too. So how many is that? That's like three we've gone through. We've got some beautiful goodies. Hunter's number one aftermath. And here's an Archer and Armstrong number one, the dollar one again. Maybe a good gift for someone. Armstrong was very very funny and from what I heard this series is amazing as well it's uh, supposedly it's just as good as uh, Quantum and Woody which I'm really excited about let's see delinquents delinquents number one very nice I think delinquents is uh, Ten Valiant comics, <laughs> four ninety nine. I think delinquents is uh, is a crossover of Archer and Armstrong and uh, Quantum and Woody. This isn't Valiant. 
This is Marvel. Dexter number one and Dexter number two. Oh well, I guess we get Dexter. Dr. Spectre number two. Number three. Look at the cover of number two. This thing's beautiful. And Dr. Spectre, oh, that's why Dr. Spectre is dynamite, it's not Valiant, right? So these are dynamite, which is okay. Valiant used to produce, uh, publish Dr. Spectre. And here's Solar, number four. I did start reading uh, the Turok from Dynamite. Uh, it was okay, but I had to drop it. We already got this one in another pack. And Shadow Man number six. So Delinquents number one, I think, was in here. Yeah, Delinquents number one is the highlight of this pack. Oh, look at this one. Shadow Man number 16 on the cover. Uh, is that Master Dark? I don't know if that's Master Dark. Master Dark is, there's XO number 17. Master Dark um, is supposed to be the villain for uh, Book of the Dead. Uh, that's coming out this summer. Master Dark, Master Dark and Harada. Um, I think I believe, you know, in my opinion, anyway, they're two of the greatest comic book villains ever. Uh, I really like Harada mainly uh, because of the Harbinger books, or the storylines. Uh, but Master Dark, wow, talk about evil! Right? Like there isn't. Uh, anything like master dark in any of the not in my opinion anyway any of the other publishers exo number 17 oh what do we got shadow man number 16 shadow man number 12 i haven't read shadow man yet um some people are saying it's not their strongest title but I really like the Shadowman character. Oh, here's Turok. I already got these. I read, you know, up to, I think, five or so. It's dynamite. I guess they put it together with, uh, with Valiant because, well, Valiant used to have the rights for Turok. I think the biggest mistake, I, Valiant hasn't made any mistakes as far as I've seen in their relaunch. But as, the, the only mistake I can say they've made is, uh, they didn't uh, take Solar, Magnus, Turok, and I guess Dr. Spectre. I wish they were doing those books as well. XO number three. Sweet. XO number seven. Nice. I don't think I have this one. This one's Ninjak in there, right? <laughs> Ninjak is very good as well. I've been reading that. Number 11. I'm looking forward to reading uh, EXO. I still have a couple of gaps. I think I just filled a couple of them. I think I'm missing number four. Let's see. Look at this. Harbinger number 14. This is a crossover with the Harbinger Wars. And wow, that solidified my decision to basically go exclusively Valiant. Almost anyway. Quantum of Woody number two. I've read this one. Hilarious. This, if you haven't read it, I don't know if I'm going to be giving you spoilers. I doubt it if you'll remember to mention a lot of things. I doubt it if you remember, if you decide to read this, you remember this stuff. But when these guys fall out of the building in this issue, I think it's in this issue or the next issue, 
and the banter between them when the cops show up is priceless and it just got up for 50 cents number 14 this one's damaged here a little bit they squished it in reading copies let's put this guy here what do we got what do we got nice. this is old school valiance i stopped buying valiance uh, before this Bloodshot Yearbook, 1994, when they got rid of uh, Jim Shooter, I basically stopped buying Valiant soon after. Quantum and Woody, I don't know what number this is. Hmm. I don't know. Let's crack it open. And if you're curious, what you see behind me are uh, the EC Comics that I have framed from 1952. These are all from 1952 comics. Uh, they're amazing. If you haven't read ECs, uh, you should read ECs. There's lots of reprints available as well if you're interested in them there. They have them in hardcover bound books. I have one of them, I read through it, it's fantastic. And I've read some of the old EC books. Uh, Pulled out a couple of the two of my favorites, the annuals. What have we got here? Okay, there's a couple of old school bloodshots, bloodshot yearbook. Nice. Bloodshot number 17, old school. Don't have this one either. What have we got? We got Shadowman number 16. Shadowman number one, the one dollar thing. Reprint. Shadowman number three. Oh, sweet. Is this the first print? Tell me this is the first print. Oh my god. You won't believe this, you valiant lovers. <laughs> Ride number one, first print. This thing's like completely sold out. Like you can't get this. Look at this thing, beautiful. And look at the artwork in this. Right? Ah, you can't see it. It's too dark, but brilliant, brilliant. Oh, oh, that's my second printing. Look at this. First printing of Ryan number one, and I don't have this one. I have a Rye number one, I've read it, but it's like a cover. This is the second printing of Rye number two. This is completely sold out as well, right? That's okay, second printing. Nice, I don't have Shadow Man at times. Number one, nice, nice, nice. Whoever put these packs together at the comic book store, uh, thank you. <laughs> Quantum Woody number six. And what was this one? This is uh, Quantum of Woody. I don't know what number this is. I think it's a number four. Oh, 
yeah, number four. Cool. Cool. Don't know what number four. I well, already have this one, but the one I have discovered. That's not bad. 50 cents a pop. Rye number one. Wow. Very sweet. What do we got? I got two more packs left. Look at this. XO number. Let's put this guy here. We'll take down the bloodshot first. Ten valiants. Four ninety-nine. Four ninety-nine. So what do we got? What do we got? Bloodshots. Yeah, let's do this one first. So bloodshot. Uh, hard corpse number 18 i haven't read this one i read it all the way to the end of um, the harbinger wars with bloodshot the crossover and after that i just started going to the comic shops and trying to buy back issues because i had gaps i wanted to read bloodshot number 12 sweet this is harbinger wars i've read this one number 11 and for those of you know that um, you don't know uh, they're making the Harbinger Wars into a movie. Bloodshot number Bloodshot is the first movie they're making, and from uh, beautiful, from what I've heard, it's uh, oh, very nice. Bloodshot of Corpse number fourteen. I guess that's my next reading because I think I stopped at number thirteen. Number fifteen. Um, from what I've heard. Uh, Bloodshot is the first, and then Harbinger, and then Harbinger Wars. So there's a serious amount of uh, stories coming from Valiant. And uh, if you know how, if you want to know how Valiant's doing, according to number 17, <laughs> this is a nice run. Thank you, thank you, whoever you are that put this together. Um, yeah, just to let you know about the numbers, um, from Diamond's uh, list of uh, comic books that uh, the print runs, what's been, what, what they shipped um, last month, or was it the month before, I can't remember, um, Valiant for the last, since I've been checking for the last year or so, the ones that I've come across a year and a half or two years, Valiant was always categorized as the other publisher because they didn't make it in the top 10. Um, the last one that I looked at is either June or May, May, June, May or June, I think it was May, the numbers that they released, Valiant was number nine, right? So they've made it out of the other publishers into number nine. Um, one of the trade paperbacks made it into the top 10 out of all the publishers, the trade paper products that they released, I think it was Harbinger that made it into the top 10 of the top trade paperbacks sold. Okay, so there is a lot of people jumping onto the Valiant, uh, Valiant books here. And this is the last uh, lot, right? XO number three. So I guess there's like three of these we've got so far. I wonder what's in this one. And at the back, it's number two, Quantum and Woody number two. Really, if you want, if you want a funny read, this is it. Um, I haven't read uh, the new Archer Armstrong yet, so I can't, uh, you know, comment on that yet. If it's as good as uh, Quantum and Woody, but. From what I've heard, it's just as good. Uh, and I know the old stuff, Archer and Armstrong was fantastic. Uh, Pre-Unity, Unity, uh, until Jim Shooter was there. Right. What do we got, what do we got? Nice, so Quantum Woody number two. Again, I don't know how many of these we got now, three of them. XO number three, sweet. XO number eight, oh, I don't think I have this one either, nice. 
another one filled, right? XO one dollar one. This is we saw this one already, XO number twelve, XO number seventeen. Shadow one number twelve. It's like a lottery. It's like I'm hoping to get into the Rye number one here. <laughs> uh, shadow one number eight. Oh, what's this? Geoman. Oh, this is like old school Geomancer. Geomancer number one. Wow, glossy. I didn't pick up this one. I was, I was, I dropped all the valiants. Uh, uh, by the time this came around. I might give it a read. Wow, look at this silver foil cover. The gimmick covers at the time. Wow, crazy. There's some of that stuff around now. And this was a Quantum of Witty number three. Very nice. Okay. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share with you what I just came home with. <laughs> and, uh, I was really happy about it. Uh, excited to read these and uh, just as a nice read recommendation uh, if you want to read some amazing stories um, Valiant has some books for you depending on what you're into right uh, do a little research read up on forums uh, give it a shot uh, they got from humor to very very serious books uh, and it's a brilliant universe and I plan on uh, continuing to read Valiants and collect them as long as the quality stays up here and I can't see the quality dropping like I don't think anybody else any other publisher is doing anything like Valiant right now uh, they're magnificent reads and again uh, thank you whoever put these packs together uh, I might go back and see if you put any more together okay I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now